News we're following right now, we're getting our first look at body cam video from a state trooper who shot a man in Killingly. Police say that man was one of her robbery in Rhode Island Saturday. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter, New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash, breaking down this new video. And we want to warn you, this video could be tough to watch. The officer used verbal commands to start. Come here. No, don't hold on. Come here. He used a taser and actually brought the individual down. Hold on! Oh. Officer kept articulating taser, taser, taser. stop. Stop! Stop! Uh, this individual uh, reached for a handgun, and, and that's the deadly ground, physical force. Dude. Get on the ground! Go! Go! A chaotic 56 seconds for Trooper Joseph Godbout. Shots fired! Troop, shots fired! Shots fired! He was trying to detain robbery suspect right. Reuben right. Muller. Muller had other plans. Verbal commands didn't work. The taser didn't work. Additional verbal commands didn't work. It's mind-blowing that people are just willing to put people's lives in risk that easily. William Voles was headed to the Killingly Common Saturday afternoon when his fiance called and told him he better come home. I turned around and then we were waiting for her to hear on the news and then we ended up hearing that it was a robbery and the guy was running and then got shot. The Office of Inspector General released this new body camera video Wednesday showing the entire run in Muller has with the trooper and innocent bystanders. And when he fell again, his initial reaction was to reach for an ankle holster that had a weapon in it. The officer had no choice but to protect himself and certainly any bystanders. Our law enforcement been, uh, analyst says the trooper did everything right, starting with non-deadly force with that taser and firing just one shot, only when he had to. I don't know if it went a little too far, but... It, it's done and over with now. Right now, Muller is in a Massachusetts hospital recovering. No word if he'll be facing any charges from this incident. In Killingly, Luke Idash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.